This is a small classic journal and the cover says create desire and bloom. It is, it has a beautiful purple tie on it. Um, this is actually one that, yes, my, my people know. I tend to keep some of these. This is one that I was going to keep and then I went ahead and embellished the cover and put a purple ribbon on it and now I really want to keep it, but you know, we'll see. So it has this little happy page in it. Happy pages are these little partial pages or half pages that I put in my books because they make me happy. So see, I tagged it. That's a little bit better of a chance for me to um, sell it. If I tag them, you know, I kind of say, okay, it can't be mine. But anyways, look at, that's a daisy that's coming out there. This one is unique as I'm looking through it. Um, oh, I named her Emmy. Oh, so I really am not going to keep her if I named her. I know that that usually works in the opposite way when you have animals, <laughs> but this is a, this is a piece of art. And so when I name them, I usually am going to um, put them in the shop. But what I was saying is that this book is a little unusual because this is partially steamed. So books can be boiled and they can be steamed. And I do not normally steam my books. My books are usually boiled. Steaming does come up with a different design factor. Like you can see they're a little bit more blurry. There's steaming in my experience gives you more color, but it's blurry color. And I really go for more of the details. However, when something like this happens, I feel like it's very serendipitous. And so what that means is that I boiled this, but this was close to the top of my pot. This was would have been the one on the top of the pot. So these papers, some of these papers didn't get into the water for the full boil. So they were steamed. And this is where we get some of these really great uh, this really great kind of designs that have these sharp, sharper edges of color, yet the other parts are a little bit pushed back in the background. And what that does, look, that looks like a heart right there. There's some fuzz from the ribbon. But what that does is provide a really, really great surface for writing. So the images are gonna be there. You can see all of these white, whitish spots. That's because the plants were stuck to those during the steaming. And so it's like a masking effect. So you get some really great shapes. All of this, if you can see like these blue lines, I can tell that this is steamed because of these blue lines. They're not crisp as far as detail of the plant element, but they are strong as far as their color element. So. Uh, yeah, this is, I think this is why I was going to keep this one is because it was steamed, which is a rarity in my, uh, what I do. I see a little mouse right there, but, um, and it was so great for writing in. And I was really looking for a new little pocket journal to carry. These small classic journals are great pocket journals. And so... I don't know. We'll see. I may put this out there and I may not. But see the difference? So this is boiled. That is steamed. So you can actually see a really big difference on that. And when I do get these steamed ones, I find them very intriguing because I'm such a, a person that likes to see the images in each page. And I have to really fight to see more images. So it really challenges my head, which is one reason why I tend to do more writing in these than drawing. But at, at, but at different times, I really, I really kind of see these, these images. Like there's a little face down here and she's got this huge kind of head, almost like she's hiding back there. Um, maybe a pearl and an oyster. There you go. So anyways, I, I love it. I love it. And it says, 
this one happens to say, say create, discover, and bloom. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up and tie that. And wowza. Love it. Love, love, love.